Hey everyone, this is the Explorographer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get verified and also how to move to a new instance on Mastodon. So let's get started. When you first try to join Mastodon, you'll be asked to join an instance. Mastodon is not a website. It is a gathering of many different servers together and it's served all over the world. So all of these different instances or servers are run by independent people. That is what makes this so great. And then they come together on the federated timeline. So if you're wondering how this all works, you're on an instance, you have a local timeline which contains only posts from people that are on your timeline. That means things that they share, posts that they share, that sort of stuff. Then you have the home timeline, which is the place that shows where people like and boost things and share different posts from other people. And then you have the federated timeline, which is an amalgamation of everything out there. So it's essentially the main feed. It is not like Twitter. It is different. Uh, Twitter all comes from one centralized server, whereas this is decentralized. There's servers all over the world. So Mastodon is a group. It's not really a website. So with that out of the way, I'm going to highly suggest that you do this on a browser. Uh, by far, from what I have found, because it's decentralized, there isn't any one good app for everyone other than the browser itself. So if you're on your iPad, you're on your iPhone, you're on an Android, you're on a tablet, laptop, desktop, use your browser and the instance that you signed up on. So how does that work? Well, I signed up on two instances. When I first started, I went to mastodon.social and I signed up. I thought this was the place to be. Well, it got flooded with all of these new people coming in and it's super, super slow right now. You can't really get anything done. You'll see as we go here, it's very tough to get anything done. I was previously, before that, on a whim, had joined mindly.social, which was a friends server. And I had two accounts. I thought this was, you know, the way you did things because that's what you do on the bird site. But that's not how it is here. Um, you really only need one account. I've said this before, unless you're running a business or you're running different accounts for different people, that's another thing. But most people need just one account. And really to get started, you should start with one account so you can understand it all. So I had these two accounts and I want to merge them together over on the mindly.social platform because that's where my home is. That's where my friends are at. That's where I know the people that run that server. So how do we do that? Well, it's super easy. All you need to do is open two browsers or two tabs and make sure that you're logged on to each one. I'm logged on to mastodon.social and I'm also logged on to mindly.social and I'm going to go into my profile on both. So you're just going to click edit profile and edit profile and you'll see the speed difference between the two. Uh, Mastodon is taking a long, long time to get in here. That is one of the reasons I want to take some of the load off by moving my account off there. And you can bring your followers with you and everything. So you're not going to lose anything, which is really nice. You won't bring your posts with you uh, that they are on the server, but uh, you will bring your followers along with you if you have any. A lot of people ask me how to do this. So this is basically how it's done. Okay, through the magic of the internet, we have finally gotten that site to pop up. So on the site that you're moving from, you want to make sure that you come down to the bottom of this first page and you want to click on this move to a different account. If you wish to redirect this account to a different one, you can configure it here. So we're going to go ahead and hit that button. And after quite a long wait there, we're now on the page that we need to be on. So make sure that you understand everything here before proceeding. Please read these notes carefully. This is very important. Uh, this action will move all followers from the current account to the new account. Your account's profile will be updated with a redirect notice to be excluded from searches. No other data will be moved, which is your posts and all that kind of stuff. The new account must first be configured to back reference this one. And then after moving, there will be a wait period, which you will not be able to move again. And your account will not be fully usable afterwards. However, you will have access to data, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what we need to do is specify the username to the account you wanna to move to. So here, what we wanna do is we're moving to, let me get on the same page on both of these. On the second page, by the way, you're gonna to wanna to do 
Uh, the second option here, moving from a different account. So we're doing that over there. All right, so we're moving from here over to here. All right, so the handle of the new account that you wanna to move to. So that is right there. My name is the Explorographer on the account and I'm at mindly.social and I have to punch in my current password. All right, so there we go. So we have that information in, but we haven't done anything with it yet. Okay, so over on the other site, over here, the handle of the old account, the account that we're moving from, we have to add an alias for that. So this is the Explorographer at Mastodon.social. Now, this is gonna take a while and it might fail the first time I do it because the other site is so slow and having big problems right now. You know, the reason why I'm moving, of course, and I also want one account. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this and we'll see what happens. Okay, so after several, and I mean several, failed attempts, we finally got it to go. And this was because the old server is quite slow and having problems communicating with the new server. So kind of a good situation to show you this in case it errors out for you. Just keep trying to create the alias over and over and over again till it finally lets you through. It's just because the servers are so bogged down. So I've gone ahead and done that. And when it's done creating, you will see it appear down here under the handle of the old account. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and go back to the first account here on Mastodon Social. Remember, this is the one we're moving from. And we're gonna go ahead now, we've got our handle in here and we've also got our password in here. We're gonna go ahead now and click the move followers button. Now this might fail as well, so get ready for it. And there we go. It took about eight minutes for this to finally come back. It was a blank screen for quite a while, um, but it finally came back. And you will see this banner up at the top that says your account is inactive because it is currently redirecting to the explorographer at mindly.social. And so you can cancel that and reopen your account if you want to. And if we look over here on mindly.social, you're going to see all of your followers that were on the other server are now following you. And you should like get this big under your notifications, you'll get a big list of However many followers you had over there will all of a sudden be following you over here. And that's to let you know that those folks now are following you on mindly.social. They won't see anything really different except for your URL on your name will change, but they won't notice any difference. So it'll be perfectly smooth for them. And that's another great thing about Mastodon is because it's decentralized, you, uh, you can do these moves and do this kind of stuff and it works out great. So now let's talk about getting verified. Uh, verification is not all that important here on Mastodon, but if you want to get verified, especially if you're a uh, public figure of some sorts, the best way to get verified is through your official website. So you can see over here, my official website is highlighted in green and it has a check mark. This means that I have verified my website as being mine. The way that you do this is pretty simple. It's a lot simpler and a lot cheaper than it is over on the bird site, let me tell you that. So you're gonna to wanna to go to your profile again, right? And then come down here to where it says profile metadata. That's right on the very first thing under appearance. And here you see I have my official website and I have my URL to my website plugged in here, all right? Verification, you can verify yourself as the owner of the links in your profile metadata. For that, the linked website must contain a link back to your Mastodon profile. The link back must have the rel equals me attribute. The context of the link does not matter and it will go ahead and verify you. So what I did is you just copy this link, you go to your website, I have a WordPress website, and I went to my front page, which is the very first thing that appears when you go to this URL. This is very important, it needs to be on your front page. It needs to be, if people just type in that URL that you see right here, it needs to be on that exact page on your website. So you go to your website, you punch this in, now I'm gonna punch this in, in the text mode because it's a link, okay? So we wanna make sure that it shows up as a link. You don't want this over on the visual side because it will basically show as HTML and that's not what they're looking for. They're looking for the actual link. So there it is, it's in there. You can go ahead and update that. And then when you go back to your page, you wanna save your changes. This is the biggest mistake, don't leave this page. You wanna save your changes 
and then and then exit here so one of the times it didn't work for me i did need to make an edit over here you can see i went from official website to official www you want to change this if it doesn't take for you so just pop in here and change this side and then it'll register as an edit and then when you go to your profile you'll see that that will light up green on some servers this may take a while to verify just wait for it and it will go through for you guys but that's how you get verified here on mastodon and you can verify more than one link so if you put this in other places you can get it to verify in other places so just keep that in mind as well I uh, hope this video has helped you guys out. Please watch my other two videos. You can find those popping up here on the screen. And thank you so much. Like, subscribe, share. It's most important is you share with people. It's uh, going to help others out as much as possible. I am over on mindly.social helping as many people as I possibly can, but I can't get to everybody. So please watch the videos. They will help you the most. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, stay creative.